Can you do a build list on the e-bike? How much did you pay to build? Can you list where you got the frame? Where did you buy the bike? Those are some of the most asked questions I get on my comments, on my TikToks, and on my YouTube channel. A lot of you guys want to know where I got all the parts to build this bike, and I'm going to be going over that in this video. So let's get back to the house and put this thing on the stand. Now what I'm going to do is break this up into two parts. Now in the first part, I'm just going to show how to build the bike itself. And in the second part, I'll show all the cosmetic parts, like the plastics, the lights, the stickers, the wrap, and all that. So let's get started with that. Now for the frame, I went with the Voilmart black frame. It seems really sturdy, and I like the fact that it's black because I can always touch it up with some spray paint. Now con with this frame is that it is a bit heavier, unlike the other types. After that, you want some suspension. Now these aren't Fox forks, these are Zoom forks, but they're $200 and they're pretty good for street riding. Now for the rear, I have a DNM burner shock and it's really comfortable. I really like it and it's definitely worth the price. Now one thing you'll need to install these shocks are special bolts that are only sold on AliExpress, so you'll have to order those from there. Next for the brakes, I went with four piston zoom brakes and they are decent. I wouldn't say they are the best, but they do have enough power to lock up the wheel. And for those brakes, you're going to need some rotors. I went with these 203 millimeter rotors. They do come with 160 millimeter rotors, but you're going to be better off with some larger rotors to get some better stopping performance. Now in the rear here, I have a QS205 motor on a 19 inch rim and I have a Sabaton controller inside and these come in a kit usually and with some cooling fins and stator aid, you could run this motor at some really high power. Next here we have the kickstand and this kickstand is really nice, but you do have to modify it a bit. You have to cut it down and you have to add some spacers to make it fit. But once that is done, this kickstand is not going anywhere. For the front, I also have a 19 inch wheel. You'll also need some cranks, pedals, and a chain. Now here at the top, I have a wake stem and some regular riser bars. These are actually really inexpensive and they're really good. Now in the back, I have a moto seat and this is a must. The frame itself does come with a regular bike seat if you wanna install that. But if you want the bike to be comfortable, this is a must. And it also adds to the look and makes it look a lot more like an actual motorcycle. Now the controller and the motor, they come in one kit, but the battery does have to be bought separately. Now one of the most expensive parts of the build is the battery. I built mine myself and that's how I saved a few hundred, but if you're going to buy a pre-made one, I would recommend buying the one from NB Power. Their battery has 40 amp hours, which will get you a lot of range. And considering how big it is, it's not too bad for the price. Now with the frame, you will get all the spacers the keys and the bearings so you don't have to worry about any of that it also comes with a charging port and speaking of the charging port you will need a charger this charger i have here is more on the expensive side but it is really nice it can charge up your bike very fast and it's adjustable so at night you could slow it down or speed it up when you need to charge faster now all the internals are plug and play but you will need to solder some connections and need some wires so i'll include that in the cost we're done with the first part, which is all you'll need to get a running bike built, and now onto the cosmetics. For the front, I have a Ceron X front fender. If you're going to use zoom forks, you will have to drill some holes to mount it. Same thing with the front light. I have a red front number plate, which just attaches with zip ties. I have a motorcycle rear light and a rear fender from a Suron X, which you can go in my other video to see how I mounted it. Under all of that, I have a horn installed and you will need some type of switch to turn all of this on and off. Now to power all the lights, I have a 72 volt to 12 volt converter under here. Coming up top here, I have an AirTag stem holder and an AirTag installed here. I have some stem caps on both wheels, some fork stickers, and last but not least, some wrap to wrap the side panels. So a few days did pass by, it is raining outside, but there you guys have it. Up here on the screen, I'll have the price for the bike and for the bike with all the cosmetic stuff. I'll have links for all the parts that you need in the description. If you guys have any questions, comment it below, but that's gonna be it for this video. I hope this helped you guys and I'll see you guys in the next one.